come off the, uh, the arm of it. So we're back at it again, but in the dark again. Time is 5.37. Oh, there's the taco card in there. Welcome. So I'm just going around now doing the daily walk rounds, checking all the tyres. Checking the two rear axles. Yeah, tyres look good. This is the load I've got on today. Not a lot to be fair, but the customer wants us in Cornwall for half past eight. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow. Look at that perfectly formed spider web on the back of this wheel arch. Look at that. The rear looks good. And she looks good up front as well. Just checking everything in the cab now. Everything seems good. Does the horn work? I think now that we have a two and a half hour journey, I don't need my jacket on. So, uh, to anyone who is new to the channel, this is not my truck. Um, unfortunately, annoyingly, my front mirror fell off yesterday. So, uh, that's gonna have a new one put on today. So I'm in the spare one for today. The Scania, which was my original lorry when I started here at PSB three and a half years ago. So, um, I don't mind. It's a lovely truck. Uh, today is storm. I don't even want to say that wrong. So this is what storm it is today. Uh, we're expected up to 110 mile an hour winds, and I'm going to the bottom ass end of Cornwall. So we'll see how it goes today. Fingers crossed, it's all right. But today is a wait and see as to how it goes. So we've got one delivery today, so we just got to get there and back, and hopefully we don't get too affected by the weather. So we have pulled over in this lovely lay-by on the A30. It is very windy, very rainy, and just overall not very nice, I can't lie to you. But I am gonna get out of the cab and just show you like how windy it is at the moment, and I don't even think we're at like peak windiness yet. <laughs> oh, done. so windy outside. I don't even know if you can just tell, like, the water on the floor is just moving. Look at the, uh, the, the grass there, just blowing away. Uh, that post is moving, that phone post. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Steering wheel to the old position. Off to Cornwall. Well, we're in Cornwall already now. Off further into Cornwall. He's flashed me out. Lovely, bloody jubbly. Okay, it's just getting a bit silly now. We 
because I can't even go full speed because the wind's coming this way and it is literally preventing me from going any faster. I'm sitting at about 45 mile an hour now and I can't go any quicker. The more I'm coming down the road, trucks and cars are having to swerve stuff that have blown into the road, like there was a massive plank of wood in the first lane a minute ago. There was a couple of tyres that were obviously on the side of the road anyway, but they've all blown into the middle of the road. Um, so we're having to take our time, just take it easy, take it slow, uh, because there is stuff in the middle of the road, which is just really quite dangerous. I've into sight the fence panels are not having a good day are they blood in order let's avoid them right i just pulled up in the compound gonna go and speak to that guy there right there's a new scaffolder here. no there's a new uh forklift driver here and he's bloody quality i can't lie it is freezing cold Seriously. with one of the packs there and then he also took that one that one that one and those off of me so <clears throat> just got to roll these strops up which were wrapped around everything and clear off right. just turning around in this site now should be all right Parked in awkward places do not make it easy. I have to say that. <laughs> Look at those fence panels. They are having a right day of it today. Look at them. Just everywhere. Right, let's toot these guys bye bye. And get on out of here. So we are on break. Just sat watching this guy SC trucking on uh, TikTok. Just turn the volume down, but he's uh, just chatting. And uh, turns out he watches my video, so thanks, mate. Um, but yeah, we are just on break. We've got one minute left. Eating me lunch, and uh, the weather, and I've just been, blow been blowing around like this in the truck for a bit, so <laughs> it's been quite fun. But I am just getting ready to leave my, my, well, this lay-by. Lovely bloody setting, I have to say. Look at it. It's bloody beautiful. I'm not much of a services brake kind of guy. I definitely just prefer staying in a lay-by. Pull off the main road, into here, have your brake, shoot off again. Plus, every time I stop in services, I'm always very tempted to go in and buy some food. I bring my own lunch. If I don't need to buy food, then I'm just saving me pennies, aren't I? And it just works out better for me. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to head off. Yeah, there you go. Just ticked over to 41 minutes. 31 minutes, so I've had 46 minutes in total. Yeah. Click it on to other work. Get this old steering wheel down. And uh, we can set off. Well, the bloody rain is coming down now. We're just coming past Oakhampton, I think. So the weather is getting worse and worse the closer we get to Devon. If anyone knows, the exit junction on the A30, just before you get to the M5, there is a DBSA pull-in place centre there. Well, not long before that, there was a DBSA car sat on this, one of the slip roads with its lights on, not the 
basically follow me lights, but the beacons. He was getting ready to pull someone, and thankfully it's not me, because I've gone past. Whoever gets pulled today, I wish you well, and I pray to God uh, that you're alright. Unless you're running illegal, of course, then I hope you get completely screwed over. But on that note, we are literally just coming up to the end of the A30, heading on to the M5, back to the yard, not the M5, the A38, sorry, back to the yard. It's been a good day, getting back at about 1pm. And we're back, parked up in the yard. Unfortunately, I won't be in my truck tomorrow because mine's going off tomorrow. No, tonight to have the mirror fixed that I was talking to you about earlier. And uh, which means it won't be available to load tonight for tomorrow. So I'll probably be in that one tomorrow if I'm out in a lorry. Uh, might be out in the van, who knows? This job is a mystery and that is why I love it. <laughs> but the current time is two o'clock. Uh, obviously stop for our break and stuff on the way back. So it is what it is. But uh, I'll be in the yard till five just so I can get, you know, me full pay sort of thing. As I am on hourly wage, so every minute I work, I get paid for. Luckily, we have a dry room. My boots are guaranteed to get wet um, this afternoon, as they already have started getting wet. So then overnight, we can just hang them up here, with all the guys' stuff, and they'll be dry by the morning. A very wet and windy afternoon in the yard, I think. Whoa. There we go, just relocated my disgustingly dirty truck down here as the mechanics will be by in a minute to pick it up but i'll show you exactly what i mean that mirror there is gone let me show you closely it's just completely rusted away and come off the uh, the arm of it but there you go um so it's gonna go and have a new mirror fitted i'm also i've also asked them to fix the sunroof latch as well because that's broken i accidentally broke that not the truck i accidentally did well i say i did i had the sunroof open in the summer driving along next thing i know the latch like wouldn't shut properly and a part of it's missing so hopefully they can fix that but when she does return i am going to clean the filthy yow it's not the most important job to do as it is it's winter now so the day you clean it by the time you drive it back to the yard it's most probably going to be absolutely filthy again for the time being ciao ciao i miss you already <laughs> so we just finished loading it's been a little while now bearing in mind just finished loading up zach's truck the iv came for his run tomorrow he's got three drops but yes this is the uh this is the stral ice I think Zach has been making it his own because it is his new home. Oh, it's warm in here! Hell yeah! When you close the doors, it's like it feels like you haven't closed them properly. Usually you haven't. Listen, <laughs> listen to this one. It's yeah. so gentle. He's got his Union Jack flag, his nameplate, all his little uh, little toys. His little teddy bear. Harry Bear. His Zachary truck. I like that. The nephew gave me that. Yes. Hi Keo, if you're watching. Hi Keo. I liked meeting you the other week. So smooth. <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> I'm not even putting this on, this is how bumpy our yard is. And there's Zach's old truck, aka Ben's new truck. It's just been MOT'd. And it's time to pack up. My sat nav is still on for some reason. Let's turn that off. A power off. But I'm gonna pack you up. Get on gone. But I will read last week's top comment. But before I do, check out my new phone case, guys. It's bloody awesome. Oh, I love it. And the top comment comes from. Well, I say top comment. It was actually a very good question. And, uh,. I liked reading this one. I wanted to wait for the video to answer it. Uh, it comes from Michelle. Lovely Michelle. Very, very supportive um, of my channel and very, a lot, a lot of help. Uh, she said, hey James, a brilliant vlog. Question, odd one, do you ever suffer from back pain from driving so much and jumping in and out of the lorry? And if yes, do you have special tricks you do to help it? A while ago I had a car crash. So since then I do suffer a little bit with like lower back pain. Um, 
it's more of an ache than it is a pain um, but uh, I'm not gonna lie to you the only thing I do to help is I just have my seat in in a very upright position so I'm not slouched back or anything and that seems to help my back a lot um, so I'm sorry if it's not the answer you were probably hoping for but that is my answer uh, I just make sure I'm sat upright at all times else if I start slouching my back gets really painful so Michelle thank you very much for your question just grab me my bag and bit I think I'm done so guys I'm gonna go home enjoy my family enjoy some dinner enjoy some TV and just relax is it storm Kiran or whatever the call whatever the hell that however they say it I don't know it was very bad this morning throughout the day it slightly got better so it, it wasn't too bad of a day actually also love my chocolate with James bag <laughs> also I'll be I'll be um, revealing merch availability in next week's video so please keep an eye out for that if you want any hoodies jumpers hats and stuff like that next week's video I will tell you when everything is available hope you guys have enjoyed the video Make sure you give this video a like and a, a subscription if you did enjoy. If you want to see what I'm up to on a daily-ish basis, feel free to go and follow me on my Instagram page. It's at Chocolate James. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for all your support as always. And I shall catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao for now.